He became a babysitter for a rich family. They left me weird rules to follow. My name is Carlson. I am a 19-year-old in college. For reasons of privacy, I will not name my city, state, or give further personal details. But just a heads up, ghosts, demons, or whatever the hell you call them, are real. My neighborhood is pretty sparsely populated, so new people keep moving in every year, this year specifically. A rich family built a three-floor mansion next to my humble, small house. The family had two daughters and three sons, all of varying ages from 5 to 20. They had two German Shepherd dogs. The parents seemed old and grumpy, while the children, I know it might sound awkward, and I have never used this word to describe a person, looked straight up evil. They were friendly towards me and invited me over a couple of times to chill out at their mansion. I appreciated that gesture. One day, the mom asked me if I could babysit their youngest son while they were out for their vacation. Being a broke college student, I accepted the offer since the pay was very high and all I had to do was laze around the house the whole night. I said I would, so when the day came, I took my phone and charger and went to their house. There was always something off about it. I mean it was clean, expensive and luxurious but the colors looked a bit off, a bit gray and darker than you'd imagine a mansion to be, even darker than usual. When they were leaving, the oldest sibling casually handed me a piece of paper. I asked, what is this? He said, it's just a list of rules to follow. Nothing too crazy but I cannot emphasize enough how important they are. Call us if you break a rule. He then walked away, leaving me with a lot of questions. When I heard their car engine start, I started reading the rules. No follow these rules word for word and do not break a single one. If you do, go hide in the closet in the master bedroom of the second floor of the house and call us. Also you can help yourself with anything from any of the fridges. Just do not open any fridge from 2am to 3am. Now we know you can take care of a baby, but the other most important rules are. Rule 1 We have left all of the dogs outside the house in our backyard. If you see a dog sitting inside the house shoot it immediately, because it isn't a dog. Rule 2 If the lights start to flicker, take the baby and lock yourself in the bathroom on the third floor. Failure in doing so within 20 seconds will cause hallucination. Get in the closet and call us. Rule 3 is already mentioned. Do not open the fridge between the hours of 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. If you do, you have 10 seconds to run to the closest otherwise you will suffer a fate worse than death. Rule 4 If you hear the dogs the barking all at once, close your eyes for 10 minutes. Don't worry, the baby will be fine, you might hear sniffing around you, do not flinch. Rule 5 Do not leave the baby unattended for more than 20 minutes at a time, something is watching you at all times. They might not like the irresponsibility. I almost burst out laughing. If this was a prank it was a good one, and a sick one. I nestled into the sofa kept in the living room and started pouring a glass of cola when the light started flickering. I stopped. My instinct screamed at me to run, and so I did. I took the baby and ran to the bathroom. I stood beside the bathtub, still, listening for any further commotion. When I tripped on a puddle of water below me, below the bathtub was a note. It read, If they have hired you for babysitting, and you found this, please just open the goddamn door and run. Run as fast you can, as far as you can. These people have not gone on a vacation. They have gone away because on every full moon night, they leave these misleading rules. Some of them like Rule 1 and Rule 4 are intended to kill you. They are offering you as a sacrifice to God knows which demon. I somehow survived and broke back into the mansion to leave this note. The rules are just there to comfort you. When you see or hear strange things you will not survive the ordeal I got lucky because I did not read the rules. Rule 1 happened to me and I survived. But if I were IU I wouldn't take chances. I looked outside. It was a full moon night. I heard knocking on the bathroom door.